program is brought to you in living color on NBC. This is Mildred Cianjola of Brooklyn, New York. She's about to try for over $5,000 worth of prizes on I Guess, starring Bill Collins. <laughs> Well, thank you kindly very much. That's plenty. Don't worry about, don't worry about that sign. It's got a short in it. Thank you very much and welcome. And Mildred, who won the game yesterday and we ran out of town. How are you, Mildred? All right. A little nervous. Did you have a nice restful night? I did. <laughs> very restful. What did you do, Mildred, uh, after you left here yesterday? <laughs> Huh? Went dancing. <laughs> <He> went dancing. <laughs> okay, Mildred. Uh, you know how the thing works, don't you, Mildred? I mean, you had all night to think about yes. it. Uh, behind every number is a gift, and every one you pick, you keep. And if you go all the way through without hitting that stop card, you win everything, plus this fabulous Jack Clark. <laughs> a new wide stance Camaro Sport Coupe called the Hugger, featuring turbo thrift engine, power glide transmission, plus exciting low cost performance. Camaro by Chevrolet. Okay, what have you decided? Are you going to use a system, Mildred, or are you just going to pick at random, or what? We're just going to pick. Okay, you go right ahead. Number two. There's a nice beginning. <laughs> a nice beginning. Oh. Number six. That's lovely. <laughs> Number one. Good, <laughs> Number seven. Excellent. <laughs> Go on. Number four. Good, you're still in business. Number five. Well, you brought it along fine up to there, Mildred. I'll say that for you. Can we have a look at three and eight there and see what luggage in the New England vacation? But the important thing was it would have unveiled the automobile. But you did very well. And you'll notice when you get your freezer, Jack Clark always manages to have it full of some sort of goodies. So listen carefully to see what they'll be. And Jack, tell Mildred about all the things she's won, please. We'll start here. First of all, 4711, the refreshing cologne from Cologne, and a luxurious assortment of bath product from the house of 4711 to keep you delightfully refreshed for months to come. Then, for indoor or outdoor entertaining, this portable redwood cart with glassware and a generous supply of party time. The new instant cocktail mixes for a wonderful party every time. Also, a home entertainment set from Craig, an AM-FM stereo table radio with automatic frequency control and detachable wing speakers, plus the Craig 212 portable tape recorder with exclusive T control and automatic level control. Now, a world-famous Amana completely free of frost freezer with Amana's exclusive frost magnet and contact freezing that protects and keeps food stored in safe, <laughs> even zero-degree temperature throughout. Filled with an assortment of Hublin foods, including Snappy Tom cocktail, a unique <laughs> blend of tomato juice. <laughs> it's a blend of tomato Snappy juice, Tom. green chili peppers, and onions. Snappy Another. Tom for every meal and mixer. And for you, a beautiful Dawn Mink Stole with a luxurious collar and graceful <coughs> shirring on the cuff. An elegant addition to any lady's wardrobe by Barry Alley of New York. Yours for playing so well on I Guess. Congratulations. Very good, Mildred. Well, oh, Mildred, that's all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming by. You're a very nice person. Okay, we'll be back here and meet a couple of new people here in just a moment on our program, Winner Take All. But first, a few words of interest for you. Jack, I know you'll be interested to know that these two people have been chosen as our especially lucky ones. So, would you introduce them? Oh, gosh. What happened to the winners? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma's Linda Harper. Oh, and from on. Washington, D.C. is Terry Cahill. Broken Arrow. Yes. I love that name. How, how big is Broken Arrow, Linda? It has a population of about 8,000, and we're 
10 miles from Tulsa. Uh, I love that broken arrow. Terry, how about you? Washington isn't funny. Uh, are, are, <laughs> not unless you're from there. <laughs> are you a native there, Terry? I'm like most people. I'm not really from Washington. I'm from a suburb, College Park. New York is pretty much like that. Los oh, the reason you two are lucky, because we have something for each of you. We give this away only once a week. And also, Jack, we have one of these for you today. Oh. Our I Guess Game, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Okay, now let me explain how we play it. Every time you give me a correct answer, you score, and any time you can give me five consecutive correct answers, you win this I Guess Jackpot Prize. A trip to Madrid. You and a companion will fly to Madrid in sunny Spain, the land of the bullfight, Alan. <laughs> okay, now we're going to show you an eight-second board, and each correct answer on this board is worth ten points. So you have eight seconds to study the board. Ready, reveal. Okay, Linda, here's yours to begin things. Who wears a loincloth and swings from tree to tree? Four. Now, there is a quick answer, and that's right. You've got ten points, Lisa. <laughs> who, uh, who at this time, Linda, is making all the important decisions for the state of California? Number five, please. Richard Burton. <laughs> okay, here's yours, Terry. First crack. Who is the biggest ape in the jungle? One, please. Number one? Nick, oh dear. <laughs> Have to keep out of these international things here. Linda, who kisses, and watch it, uh, me, Linda, who kisses Mia Farrow goodnight? Ring -a -ding -ding. Number six, please. He sure does. <laughs> but before that, he has to shake hands with Dean Martin. Uh, another 10-pointer, Linda, who has breakfast with Elizabeth Taylor every morning? Number five, Bill. You remembered, and you've got another one. <laughs> who, who is in charge, Linda, of our foreign policy? Like, Number eight. Exactly. You have two in row. <laughs> who is playing first base for the New York Yankees, Linda? I guess. Wow, you got money. If you get this one right, we send two more people to Madrid. So good luck to you. Who was once the top man in the Kremlin? A groan goes through our hushed audience. Number one. Yes, ma'am, you got six. What? <laughs> We're sending so many people to Madrid. We're staying oh. with you till you miss, Linda. Who is making all the important decisions for the state of California? And please don't help. Not that Linda needs help. Number three. Yes. <laughs> Terry knew that one, too. <laughs> Terry's dying for a chance. He's known most of these, too. The last one on the board, Linda, and it's yours. Who is the biggest ape in the jungle? Number two. Exactly. You ran the board. Well, ran the board for oh. eight consecutive, the trip to Madrid. 100 points wins the game, and we'll be back here with a 20-point board in just a moment. But for now, you know we have a message for you from Miles Laboratories. Well, the score, Linda has 80. She ran the board. Uh, with eight consecutive answers after poor Terry missed one. And Terry, from your reaction, you had a pretty good idea where those things were, too, weren't it? Yeah, but I'm get, not going to get a chance to get back in the batter, batter's box unless she gets <laughs> lucky. Uh, actually, in order for Terry to get a chance, Linda has to miss the first one because it will be a 20-pointer. So, both of you study the board for eight seconds. 20 points per right answer. You have eight seconds to study the board. Ready? Reveal, please. Okay, Linda, here it comes for the game, and please don't help. Where does Bing Crosby carry his golf clubs? Number three. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I did. He's such a golfer. You're so good, we'll keep playing. No. no. <laughs> uh, actually, Linda has her 100 points, and Terry, you did a oh. 
Just tough luck that you missed that first one there, and once Linda got the ball, she ran for a touchdown. Uh, we'll be back here to give Linda a chance at our $5,000 board in just a moment, but may we pause for this message of interest? Okay, Linda, we're gonna see how much you can win from our big board. We got a gift behind every one of them. And if you go all the way through without hitting that stop card, you win everything up there, plus our 1968 Chevrolet Camaro. And if you're as good on this one as you was on the other one, good luck. Uh, number four. That's nice, and I'm sure that's nice. Number six. That's nice, portable TV. Number two. Isn't that a darn shame? Oh. You want to take another one? Could I? No. Oh. Yes, you could. Yes. Thank you. Number eight. Okay. And. And uh, actually, it's the reason I'm doing this. It's near the end of the week. It's Friday, and we got you know we got two days to get more prizes. Terry, because you ran into such bad luck, you have one on the house. Try five. Give Terry number five. He says, there. "There you are." Okay. Jack, would you like one, Jack Clark? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you're not going to get any because that's. Uh, let's take a look at what stays up there on the board. One, three. Oh, the Florida bit, the luggage, and the bedroom. Okay, now Linda and you two, Terry, get ready while Jack tells you about all the nice things you have won. Jack. Well, we start off with Linda first. A Charm Glow Dual Gas Outdoor Barbecue made of heavy cast aluminum with chrome grills and porcelain burners, complete with a rotisserie shelf and cover from Charm Glow Products, Antioch, Illinois. Then the new Admiral Playmate nine-inch portable TV featuring all channel reception, front-mounted speaker, and fold-away antenna furnished by the Admiral Corporation. Also, an easy classic series washer featuring 16-pound capacity, all fabric air, and exclusive no-press cycle, plus an easy classic series gas dryer with moisture-sensitive controls for excellence in care of any fabric. And then for Terry, a $200 wardrobe of Beeline clothing. <laughs> Sorry about that, Terry. Featuring exclusive styles and colorful casual fashions chosen from the famous Beeline catalog. And then Linda has her trip for two to Madrid. To both of you, congratulations from Iger. Yes, yes, <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Terry. Thank you very much. Oh. We'll be back here in just a moment with another interesting plot in our mystery story. But first, a few words from Little Orphan Annie. Okay, Jack, can we meet our two next players, please? Why, well, sure, here they are. First, from Ellington, Connecticut, Letitia Hayes. And from Syracuse, New York, Bill Reagan. Letitia is a pretty name. I like that. How are you, you, Letitia? Fine, thank you. Have you a family? Yes, I have, Bill. I have four children. Bobby, 12, Letitia, 10, John, 8, and Kevin, 17 months. Oh, my goodness. Bill, that's a pretty name, too, Bill. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice haircut you got there, too. What brings you down here to New York, Bill? I'm down on a training program with my corporation, Bill. Okay. Now, let's see if the training includes a photographic memory. We're going to show you both the board for a long time, like eight seconds, and each right answer is worth ten points. So take eight seconds, please, to study the board. Ready? Reveal. Okay, Letitia. When his secretary kept coming in late every morning, what did the boss do? Number six. <laughs> you know, there's more truth to that than poetry, I'll tell you. Two points for that, Letitia. Here you go, Bill. When the movie star came up to get her award, what did Bob Hope do? Number eight. Good old. And Bob will do anything for a laugh. Letitia. After the guy proposed to his girl, what did he do? Number six. That's where that answer was, and you have yourself in. <laughs> You're a brunette, so I think it's safe for me to ask you this question. What did the hairdresser do for the lady who wanted to become a blonde, Letitia? Number seven. Put her on a leash. Okay, Bill, here's one for you. When the lady fainted, what did her husband do? <laughs> Number five. He bleached her hair. See, that was the answer we were looking. Back to you, Letitia. When he caught the shoplifter stealing a mink coat, what did the officer do? Number one. Number one is the right answer, and you've got another big point. 
I have a feeling about this one. After he gave the baby the bottle, what did the father do? Number eight. There we go. I sort of <laughs> thought you'd get that. Before he took her out, what did the dog's trainer do? Number seven. You got her up to three in a row now, Fisher. You're the missed ones. When his secretary come in late this time uh, every morning, what did the boss do, Letitia? I guess. No, there is something else back there. And we come over to you now, Bill. When the movie star came up to get her award, what did Bob Hope do? I guess. That's what was back there when you were on the board, Bill. Okay, Bill, let's see how you do with this one now. What did the hairdresser do for the lady who wanted to become a blonde? Number seven? No, and here's the last one on the board, Leticia. When the lady fainted, what did her husband do? Number two. Right, and you have 50 points. There you go, Leticia. You have 50, Bill has 10. We're coming up with our 20-point board when we get back here in just a moment. First few words that will interest you. Leticia has 50 points. She's working on one right answer. Bill has 10 points, and we're going to show you a seven-second board. Each right answer on this board is worth 20 points, so it takes seven seconds to study the board. Ready? Reveal. Okay, Leticia, this would bring you up to 70 points. What does an executive keep on his desk to hold down important papers? Number three. There is a quick, correct answer, and you now have 70 points. All right. Got 70, and you're going for 90 now, Leticia. When you have a bad toothache, what do you use to bring down the swelling? Please don't help. I guess. Look at that. Very good guess. Well, you're, you're right at the wire now, Leticia. Here you go for the game. What does Roger Maris carry when he steps up to the plate? Number one. Quick, <laughs> right, and that's the game. You're pretty well, you almost... Very well done, Leticia. You got yourself the 100 points, and you're going to get a chance to win some exciting prizes. Say, uh, people ask how we choose contestants on this program. Well, most of them actually are chosen from our studio audience right here in New York. If you'd like to attend one of our broadcasts and thereby apply to become a contestant, write to this address you see uh, for tickets. Tickets, I guess, Box 592, Radio City Station, New York. That's tickets, I guess, Box 592, Radio City Station, New York. Okay, Letitia, you all ready to go? As you know, if you can get all the way through without hitting the stop card, you win the whole thing, the Camaro. Take a pick. Uh, number one, please. Sure, number one is a beautiful electric appliance piece. Okay. Number three. All right. Silver, Butler, and Johnson. Number two. Sure. A color TV. Oh! You know, that buzzer, there comes a time when we don't have any more time, and as it happened to the poor lady at the beginning of the show, you're not going to have to come back tomorrow. You're going to have to wait out the weekend and come back Monday. Do you mind, Leticia? I don't a bit. Okay, it'll fly by like nothing. You'll see, the time will just fly and you'll be back here. So, when we get back here on Monday, Leticia will be picking. We have the blender for you, Bill. Thank you very much. And remember, there's a weekend coming up. So, watch it. Goodbye.